This month, we're celebrating the centennial of Craters of the Moon National Monument. And on September 28th, there is an exciting photography workshop led by renowned photographer Doug Owen, where the theme is actually expansive night sky. We're joined by Jennifer Jones and Christy Bauman to talk about this great celebration. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, you guys. So what is Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve for those who have never been? It's one of my personal favorites, but we got to explain it. You bet. So Craters of the Moon is essentially a, a lava field um, in southern Idaho. It was created by a series of eruptions along what is called the Great Rift. Um, somewhere between eruptions 15,000 to 2,000 years ago. So it's just full of incredible geologic features. You've got cinder cones, uh, lava fields, spatter cones, lava tube caves. It's just a fantastic landscape to uh, explore. And even though it looks kind of barren, um, it's actually home to hundreds of species of plants and wildlife. So there's a lot of fun things to do there. You know, I have to say, I absolutely love Craters of the Moon. And when I try to describe it to other people, sometimes they're like, oh, it sounds so hot and scary. And like you said, barren. And it's like, but it's a landscape that you, you can't ever really fathom until you're there. And even just like the visuals that we shared with our viewers right now, it's still not the same as when you show up and you're in that space and you look around and you're like, whoa, this is what it's like when our when the earth that we live on begins, right? Like it really is like the birth of the earth. You get to see part of that process and it's just mind blowing. So I'm, I'm really going to encourage our viewers, you gotta go check it out. It is just the coolest experience. Uh, but how did the centennial celebration go this year so far? Fill us in. It's been so much fun. We kicked off our celebrations in May and we've been highlighting different aspects of Craters of the Moon over the last six months with a monthly theme. And you mentioned the expansive night skies, which we're celebrating this month. And a lot of people um, don't realize how dark those skies really are there. Craters of the Moon was designated as an international dark sky park in 2017. It's one of the best places to see the Milky Way in the coterminous United States. Uh, we've also been highlighting our tranquil wilderness. We've got 43,000 acres in Craters of the Moon, only accessible by hiking. Um, it's got a very rich cultural history that really starts as the homelands of the Shoshone and Bannock peoples. And in fact, last uh, Friday, we designated, dedicated, I should say, some new interpretive wayside on our Devil's Orchard Trail. They're brand new. Um, that tell the story of Craters of the Moon from the Shoshone Bannock uh, people's perspective and the Shoshone Bannock tribe's perspective. And they incorporate aspects and stories of their oral traditions and oral history. So that's a really fascinating new uh, place for visitors to explore at Craters of the Moon. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that there's other events and celebrations coming up too as well. What else are there though in the area for people that want to go to, to Craters of the Moon, Southeast Idaho, and really kind of make a vacation and a trip of this? So I also love Craters of the Moon and happy to see that they had so many awesome celebrations this year. Idaho Falls is actually just a little um, over an hour away from Craters of the Moon, and I think it makes for a great base camp for really any adventure. Um, it also coincidentally is just a little... Uh, an hour and a half away to Yellowstone, uh, the lesser known national park to Eastern Idaho. But Idaho Falls in general has just some great lodging options that are right along the Snake River. Um, you can take in the falls. The Greenbelt also has easy access to these uh, hotels and lodging options. And the Greenbelt has about five to 10 miles of trails along each side of the Snake River. There's also a very um, upbeat arts and culture scene downtown. One of my favorite restaurants is down there, the Snake Bite. It's also home to one of Idaho Falls' first speakeasy, which is 18, where you can get great craft cocktails and good mocktails. And there's also lots of family, uh, family friendly attractions like a zoo, the aquarium, and one of my personal favorites, which is the Artatorium. Um, right downtown on Broadway. It's a very interactive uh, art museum for children. Oh, fun. And yes, it's great. It's, there's lots of great options. Lot, lots to do. So you can explore Idaho Falls, get to know another great city in our gem state, but then go explore these national parks and just the, the uh, 
amazing gem. I'm gonna call Curves of the Moon an actual gem, though I know, you know, we're talking lava flows here, uh, which can create some gems, right? But um, it is, we are so lucky to have this here in our state. I think we've all heard the story about NASA training their astronauts on this landscape because it really is like a whole other planet when you're there. You, you don't feel like that you're on Earth when you're walking through these old lava flows. And then to also learn and find out about the thousands of volcanoes that are in Idaho. I don't think a lot of people associate volcanoes with Idaho, really. You think, oh, Hawaii. But really, um, just learning about the, the previous history of Idaho's um, geological activity and the current potential activity that's still taking place. It's just, it's so exciting. I could geek out about this all day long with you guys. Uh, but where can our viewers go for more information so they can play on their trip to Idaho Falls and also visit Critters of the Moon? Well, for Idaho Falls, you can go to visitidahofalls.com or yellowstonetetan.org. It has lots of great information about things to do, not just in Idaho Falls, but all the outdoor recreation mm -hmm. that you can uh, experience in the whole region. Wonderful. And then what about the centennial celebration? Yes, um, I think you had the uh, URL up a minute ago. Um, so, I, but it also works to so just Google uh, Craters of the Moon Centennial, and you will get a menu of our um, events. As you mentioned, we're doing our last one this coming Saturday for our special centennial event. It's a four and a half hour crash course in nature and wildlife photography. And I think we've all had the experience of going to our beautiful landscapes in Idaho and taking pictures only to pull them back up on our phone or whatever it is after mm -hmm. we get home. And Oh, it was so much prettier than that. But you, <laughs> try, you, you can learn at this event how to do it right. Ladies, thank you yes. both so much. Greatly appreciate your time. And everyone stick around. More to come here on IDO Today right after the break.